The haze uh, comp comprises of uh, fine particulate matter uh, and this fine particulate matter can actually enter the airways through the nose, down the throat and into the lungs and what it does, it causes irritation of all the mucous membranes uh, from the nose, throat and airways. In some people who are more susceptible to these uh, haze or the fine particles, it can actually cause a bit of irritation or inflammation in the airways and this would trigger uh, symptoms like sneezing, uh, dryness of the throat, irritation of the throat, coughing and in some patients who are susceptible like asthmatics or those with chronic bronchitis, it can cause um, wheezing or even shortness of breath. Other uh, common symptoms of the haze will include um, irritation to the eye membranes causing um, tearing and smarting of the eyes. It can also cause uh, skin irritation especially in people who have eczema or skin conditions. Um, but generally the, the most common ones are um, sneezing and uh, tearing of the eyes as well as throat irritation. The best advice I can give to people um, if they're affected by the haze is actually to stay indoors and avoid exposure to the irritant itself. Okay. So especially if the levels go above uh, 100, um, it would be wise not to exercise outside but rather to stay indoors and avoid exposure to the haze. Um, patients with chronic heart conditions or lung ailments should take special precaution not to uh, be overly exposed to the haze or unnecessarily exposed to the haze because they are at risk group. So especially if the PSI reading is again above 100 or in the unhealthy range, mm -hmm. they should stay indoors as much as possible. Wearing a mask is um, quite an interesting issue because the common paper mask or surgical mask actually may not filter out the fine particles that we're talking about. So the mask that we actually do recommend is the uh, respirator mask or the N95 mask. And I think patients who have um, underlying heart or lung conditions should discuss with their doctors when to use the mask. Mm -hmm. Generally, I would advise if the haze level becomes uh, in the unhealthy range of more than 150 PSI to consider using uh, N95 mask for people who are at risk.